I think part of the reason we can feel so eco-anxious is because the problem feels incredibly overwhelming. When I go on Instagram or Twitter and I'm scrolling through my feed, I'm seeing problem after problem. I'm reading about the fires in Turkey and Greece. I'm reading about ocean acidification in Australia. I'm reading about mass migration and seeing these terrifying apocalyptic images of the climate crisis that is increasingly defining not only our future, but our present too. Climate science tells us that we have this critical window of time. The recent IPCC report came out was, as many people called it, code red for humanity. And the one thing that I took from it is that we have a 50-50 chance to avoid the worst of climate tipping points. The climate crisis is a symptom of broken systems, which means we have an invitation to rethink so much of how we live, breathe and innovate in the 21st century. And so for me, the next 10 years is trying to put as many people on that second path as possible so that we can create that future that we know is possible, so that we can step up rather than shut down. I feel like a smoothie <laughs> of emotions when it comes to COP26. Um, I feel excited to connect with people from around the world who are dedicating their lives to this cause. I feel overwhelmed. I feel really, really terrified and scared of the decisions that are going to be made in closed door rooms that ultimately govern and decide our future that we're inheriting. But I think most of all, I feel really, really determined. Climate science tells us that to keep within 1.5 degrees of warming, which is the tipping point for climate collapse, we need to reduce our emissions by 45%. So there is a huge divide, not just between the commitments and what we need, but also commitments and action. So my hope and the thing that I'm working tirelessly for with my team at Force of Nature is ensuring that we act with urgency and we treat the climate and ecological crisis like the emergency that it is. And so I would invite you, I would invite anyone listening to this to put your hand up and say, I might not have the skills, the experience, the expertise, I might not feel like I'm old enough or that I'm big enough to make a difference, but you absolutely are. And so we need people stepping forward. We need people who are willing to put aside those self-limiting stories and those normal feelings to think about, here's the piece of the puzzle that I can own.